Kenny Rogers and Linda Davis, and uh, we've got tonight. And yeah. Tonight is Monterey on tonight. And here's the guy that I've been telling you about tonight that helped me get started in the broadcasting business. And what a great story this is. Warren Trumbly is here tonight. He's a TV guy, too, at KS. CZ TV in San Jose, California. Mm -hmm. He's the COO. Yeah. What's that mean, COO? Chief Operating Officer. Chief Operating Officer. Wow. That means I don't do any work. <laughs> <laughs> you just got that title. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it. Warren and I, I just figured it out. I, I got the pen out and I figured it out. He and I have known each other 40 years. Yeah. And this is the story I need to tell you about. Warren, I was trying to find the money to build my first television station. Mm -hmm. And this goes back to 1984, and finding money to build television stations was not easy. I got no. turned down by 10 banks, went to all these banks, and they said, what are you going to do with the TV station? And I said, we're going to do music videos like MTV. They go, oh, okay, we're not interested. So on to the next bank. Well, I was exhausting banks. And I get a phone call from this man. And he said, Mr. Coca-Cola, my name's Warren Trumbly. I see you have a permit to build a new TV station in Fresno. And I said, yes, I do. And he said, well, I work for a company called Townsend Transmitters, and I'd like to come and see you and talk about a transmitter for your TV station. And I said to him, oh, Warren, gee whiz, I've already made a down payment on a transmitter. But you know what? You sound like a nice guy. Yeah, come on by. And so he came to the office. We went to lunch. And while we were having lunch, he said to me, what are you going to do with the station? And I said, well, I'm going to do music videos. And he said, have you ever thought about doing Christian television? Yeah. And I said, Christian television? Not really. And he said, well, I worked for a television station in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And the day that station signed on the air, it was in the black. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! That was music to my ears. Signed on in the black because... When we did our business plan to do music television, mm -hmm. we were going to be in red ink for three years. That was the projection that we did. Red ink's expensive. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. So that perked my interest, and then I said, well, tell me about this. Tell me about the station in Albuquerque. Yeah, well, the, the station in the Albuquerque, we uh, actually – Started forming it in 1976. We wow. moved moved to Albuquerque, and um, so I got together with a gentleman named Blackie Gonzalez. Yeah. There's some miraculous things that happened there. Yes, they sure were, and uh, it, it, it all went back. You know, I can go way back to when it started when I was working in Modesto with Chester Smith. Wow, and how God touched me in a TV program. Yes, He did. It totally changed my life. Yeah. And it was, it was one of those things that uh, when God became real, and then he started moving in my life, and I wound up moving from Denaire, California, right near Turlock, yep. to Albuquerque, not knowing anybody there, and then realized there was no Christian programming on. And so through one thing after another, God put us together with Blackie, Bellarmino Gonzalez, an amazing man, man uh, amazing man of God, and... Uh, um, we put together a, t a TV station, and it was time for me to leave. Yeah. And I went to work for Townsend. And when I met you, you know, people were talking about music videos, but there hadn't been a music video TV channel on the air. Successful. Yeah. There hadn't been any at all. And and I'd worked, I'd brought programming into Channel 11 with yep. the, the 700 Club and CPN, Christian Broadcasting Network, and other programmers. So we had cash flow. Yeah, see, and that was what got my interest when he yeah. said the day the station signed on the air, it was in the black yeah. because of the ministries that were on the station. Yeah. All of the ministries, 700 Club, uh, Jim and Tammy, uh, uh, 
Jimmy Swaggart, yeah, Jimmy uh, Swaggart, uh, Earl Roberts, all of these yeah, ministries, all Jerry Falwell, yeah. all these ministries mm-hmm. were on the station in Albuquerque, and they would buy the airtime, mm-hmm. and that airtime is what paid the bills. Yeah. So, as soon as he said that station was on the air in the black, I said to Warren, <laughs> "Who who owns that station?" And he said, "Blackie Gonzalez." Blackie, yeah. I said, "When can I go meet him?" <laughs> He said, well, I'll call him right now. Yeah. And he called Mr. Gonzalez, and I was on the next plane to Albuquerque. And the gentleman picked me up at the airport, and he said to me, my son, I'm going to give you the formula. I'm going to tell you how to get your television station on the air yeah. in the black, just like we did here in Albuquerque. And he said, the formula. And I said, the formula. He said, yes. You don't bake a cake without a recipe, do you? Yeah. And I said, I guess not. Well, he said God had a plan for you. God had a plan for me. Yeah. And he gave me the formula of how to get that station built. And we did exactly yeah. as he told me to do. Mm-hmm. And we turned the station on six months later, just like he said, in the black. And if it wasn't for this man, I never would have had a successful first TV station. So, hey, thank you, my friend. Thank you. You you well, have made my entire broadcast well, career a success. Well, you I, have. I don't know what to say. All you I can, all you, I can you say are the is guy. God's in control of my life. Well, and I, and I keep he, trying to turn it over to Him and not pick it up myself. He was controlling my life. Yeah. And, at that and I, time and blessed yeah. me. And I, I want to give him the glory. Absolutely. Because me too. He, he's moved us step by step. And I mean, yes. l- look what he's done for the two of us. You, absolutely. We, you and your yeah, career in the yeah. industry now with your station in San Jose and, and me with many stations. The yeah. Coca-Cola Broadcasting has uh, been blessed in, yeah. in so many markets. You know, we've got stations in California and Idaho. And at the, I call it the end of my broadcasting career now, yeah. Yeah. doing this television show is I've come full circle because I'm doing something every week here that I love to do. Yeah. It, I've been blessed many times. Yeah. And you've been part of well, that. More and, and, and we've gone through things together because there's have. a lot of changes that's happened in the industry. Oh, absolutely. In the last 40 years. <laughs> so, I mean, you I don't know what to say other than, you know, there were challenges. Oh, lots of challenges. Uh, There's know, challenges today in this industry because you know, it has changed so much. Yeah. Well, the FCC was looking at taking our channels away, they, a lot of our channels. That's right. So we, we had to fight the, the federal government. We had wound up getting uh, acts through Congress to protect our station with our Class A status. That's right. And, we did. Uh, it's just, it's, it's one of those things where— Put his name on the screen again, Dylan. Oh, I want people to know who this oh, guy is. No. My name Warren is Warren Col- Trumbull. No, my name is Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll cover that up. We we'll cover that up. <laughs> okay. Oh. Warren Trumbull, no. my very good friend, what? and the man that saved me back in 1984 from doing music television. Because, yeah. quite honestly, if I had done that then, mm-hmm. I would have been bankrupt in six months. Yeah. Yeah. True story. That's why people encourage me. Gary, go yeah. write a book. <laughs> what a story. Yeah. It's been it's been a great ride, honestly. Warren's mm-hmm. been along for the ride. Yeah. We've known each other all these years now and have been the best of friends. And his yeah. wonderful wife Linda is out in the green room right now yeah. saying, Those two old timers, look at them. <laughs> well, we had challenges. There were times when I was going through things at the station. Yes. In, in San Jose. Yes. Because we had actually three stations. I had five stations going at one time. I sold three of them to University. You did. You did. And you I, had some good times yeah. and some bad times, like I have yeah. too. So I had the two in San Jose, San Francisco and San Jose. And I was driving back and forth between. San Jose and Sacramento, and you say, Warren, you better do something. You're going to kill yourself. <laughs> I did. And I was fighting the battle, I and I did. said, okay, I'm going to listen to Gary. Yes. I it, said, what are you doing to yourself? You're driving all that way. You're going to end up dead. That's it. Didn't and, I? And so, so I made a change. I mean, yep, you did. Within, within you listened two, to me. Within two weeks, yeah, I, I listened you to listened. wisdom. Yes, well, and, that's what it was. I and I, I made the change, and we changed our programming around. I had 14 employees. 
I dropped down to, to five. Yeah. And, and we went from Spanish to, to shopping and to, and to some, some other programming. And, and it worked. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. And then, then we had the digital transition. We, which, we've been through oh, a lot. This gosh. guy and I have been through a lot because when we first started in television, it was called analog television. Yeah. And on one station, there was only one program. It's, yeah. That was it because you just had you know analog television, channel, whatever it was, one program. But then we went digital in 2009, and one channel in digital became multiple channels. Yeah. That's the dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, etc. I haven't told you the story. No, tell okay. me. Okay, the story is when the digital transition was taking place, we had this the station in San Jose analog, and the market was just drying up. The economy was really bad. And it I, was 2008, 9, Yeah, 2008, 10. 9. At that point, I owed the bank $16 million. Oh, Warren. It, it, was, it was tough because I had gotten into the real estate business. And oh. You know what happened then. Yep. And yep. I was, we, li- we were living in Fair Oaks right outside Sacramento. And it was early in the morning. And I went into our living room. I laid down, face down on the carpet, just spread eagle <laughs> down. And I said, Lord, I said, I don't know what to do. I said, we're losing money. I, I had a house in Las Vegas. I had a house on Lake Tahoe and I had Fair Oaks House. I said, I'm losing everything. I have no idea what to do. And with this digital television, I don't know anything about it. And he gave me a vision. Yeah. Of He said, you can do more than eight channels. Yeah. And it's like, what are you talking about? So that was in like June or July. I remember your call. In October or, or sep- September, we had a... Community Broadcasters Convention in Las Vegas. And when I, we went to the show, I went to every vendor and I said, I want to do at least eight channels on one station. On one station. Yeah. And they said, oh, you can do three, four, maybe five. You can't yeah. do eight. Yeah. And I went all around the room, every single vendor. I got almost to the end and I stopped and I said, and I thought of my fr- our, our friend Blackie yeah. who, who had passed away. And I thought, oh, now... One thing Blackie said, he quoted scripture. He said, let God be true and every man a liar. And I said, okay, who am I going to believe? God or these vendors? I said, I'm going to believe God. I literally got to the very last vendor. And it was one of the people that was well known in the industry. Yes, I remember this. And he said, oh, yeah, I've heard of a station doing at least eight channels in the Midwest. And I said, great, give me a quote. And you so, ended up with more than eight channels. We wound up with the first station to ever put 12 digital channels on in San Jose. And as we went digital, we were Channel 22 originally. Yep. And there was a Channel 22 in Cotati. You know, so you by couldn't Santa Rosa. be 22. Well, when you scanned your TV set, you know, there was like 40-some channels that were right. all Channel 22. Yeah. So I wrote the commission, and I said, we have a not a technical interference, but a perceived interference of confusion. That's right. And so working with Joel Wilhite yep. who, at Harmonic, yep. he said, you know, Channel 1 is in the database. So I, I Call called it up Channel 1. And I filed for Channel 1. And I, I got a no. And, and you, 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 but you did get a, eventually a yes. Yeah, I got a no. And so I, I went back and I said, hey, uh, uh, Hossein, I said, they're going to be having more channels coming up in the future. It'll just be conflict after conflict. Can I get Channel 1? He said, Warren... Do it. Go to Channel 1. I'll take care of the paperwork. And I go, wow. You were the first Channel 1 in the United States. And it'll, it'll be the only one. There will never be another Channel 1. And, and we, we sold and that station it. a few years ago. You did it. You and, did it. You did it. Uh, so it, it was, yeah, this man has, uh, has been a pioneer in this business. Yeah. Uh, I have tried to follow in his footsteps. I learned oh, an man. awful lot from this man in this business. Yeah. He's been my friend and uh, my guide through all of the years. Well, vice versa. Yeah. Well, you know the nice thing about pioneers? What? They get arrows in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone once said to me, I don't want to be a pioneer, I want to be a settler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because the pioneers are the ones yeah. that got the arrow. Yeah. No, it's been a good ride for yes, both of us. It's been great. And digital television mm-hmm. has really been uh, our savior, really, in this mm-hmm. industry yeah. because of the multiple channels we could do. You know, you're talking about some tough times. 2008-9 with the recession, Warren, mm-hmm. um, 
were very hard years for Coca-Cola Broadcasting. Yeah. I, ve I came very, very close, almost had to file bankruptcy. Yeah. Because uh, those were really tough years in oh. this business. I know. I, I was right there. You were right alongside. Yeah. yeah. We, but we, we got through it through the grace of God. We well, got through it. Yeah. And we're still standing, he and I, and uh, we're still having fun in this business, although it's changed with social media. Yeah. The television and radio business has changed immensely. Yeah. And it's a new challenge all over again. Because people are getting their advertising dollars today into social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, Twitter, you know, they're all spending money <laughs> yeah. on those uh, mm -hmm. platforms. Right. And broadcast television has taken a blunt of the hit. And so has broadcast radio because of yeah. Spotify and yeah. Pandora and all yeah. those things. Well, but and, and that's why I, I think our salvation is in programming. Yeah. If, if we do programming, we draw viewers. And so by having creative and new and innovative programming, we can draw viewers in. And we can do that both on broadcast and we do it on the streaming applications. You know what our savior has been for this show, Warren, and you know it. Mm -hmm. It's been streaming this show now to our website. Mm -hmm. And this show is available anywhere in the world that you have internet. Yeah. They can watch us live. They can go to the archives mm -hmm. and watch the old shows on the archives all via streaming. Yeah. And without that, it'd be really difficult today to get a show like this out into the public. Yeah. But all we have to do is tell our audience, you wanna watch Monterey on tonight, you wanna see local people from Monterey, California, go to the website, kmbytv.com, Click on the link, and then you can send that link to anybody, anywhere, and yeah. they can see the show. And that's why what I think I'm doing today, mm -hmm. I use the word from the Lord. Yeah. I'm doing a ministry today. Yeah. I'm getting the folks like you saw on this show tonight and letting them tell you, the audience, what's going on in their lives, in their businesses. Yeah. And it's been great. It's been great fun for me. Yeah. Yeah, you have some awesome people on this evening. I didn't. I, I, did, I yeah. mean, come on, just, augmented reality. <laughs> I'm hey. still dealing with with reality to begin with, not even augmented. <laughs> augmented. I didn't know anything about yeah. augmented reality, and I said this to you. Mm -hmm. I have learned more things mm -hmm. sitting in this chair on this television program right here than I have learned anywhere. Yeah. And as I told you before, I don't know as much as I think I do. <laughs> well, you Figure know what? Out. Stick around here, buddy, <laughs> and you will learn a lot. Yeah. This Seriously. Is yeah. Hey, Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for okay. being here. All this right. has been great. Yeah. Wendy, did you learn anything tonight? I think she did. I don't know. Yeah, I think she did. She didn't know any of this stuff about yeah. me. She, maybe she didn't want to know anything. She probably that. didn't want to know anything. She's about. blaming me now. Yeah, it's all your fault. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> all right, let's go back to a little bit more uh, Kenny Rogers, and then stay tuned for Dylan Holmes. He's going to be playing all the hits, uh, the new hits and the new artists of 2023, 2024. Uh, okay. Did you want to do the fishing thing still? Oh, yeah, that's okay. right. We got to do the fishing thing in oh, closing. The fishing show I did. Yeah, yeah. Put that on, Dylan. Okay. Let's thank you for reminding me. We got all caught up in the jabbering here. Okay. This is this is kind of the stuff that Warren did on his TV station. Play a little bit. Well, of I did that. on Comcast Sportsnet. Okay, there you yeah. go. Here it is. So, Watch this. Mm -hmm. Fun fishing is brought to you by Vance's Tackle and by Rainbow Plastics, available at your local tackle store. Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried out fishing? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, oh. fish on! <laughs> fishing is fine, but catching fish is funner. Oh. Spring to summer, from Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're going to show you how to get some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta, Alan and Warren will help you. Whoa! <laughs>
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It's on. Fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Welcome to Fun Fish. Okay, that was Warren's TV show all about fishing. It's available on YouTube. How do yeah. they find it on YouTube? Uh, that's a fun fishing TV show. Fun fishing TV show. You yeah. can go see Warren. He did 40 episodes, and yeah. they're all great. And it teaches you how to catch fish. Well, supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> no, all right, here's, okay. uh, here's Kenny, and then uh, you'll see Dylan. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. God bless.